Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for to make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. The Vietnam War, also known as the Second Indochina War, was a conflict in Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia from the 1st of November 1955 to the fall of Saigon on the 30th of April 1975. It was the second of the Indochina Wars and was officially fought between North Vietnam and South Vietnam. North Vietnam was supported by the Soviet Union, China, and other communist allies. South Vietnam was supported by the United States, South Korea, the Philippines, Australia, Thailand, and other anti-communist allies. This war, considered a Cold War era proxy war by some, lasted 19 years with direct U.S. involvement ending in 1973 and included the Laotian Civil War and the Cambodian Civil War. The Vietnam War had far-reaching consequences for the United States. It led Congress to replace the military draft with an all-volunteer force and the country to reduce the voting age to 18. It also inspired Congress to attack the imperial presidency through the War Powers Act, restricting a president's ability to send American forces into combat without explicit congressional approval. But the most important effect of this ugly war was on the American soldiers themselves, because it affected the American society directly. One of those soldiers was John, who was only 22 years old when he decided to volunteer in that war. John's family was very rich, so when he went to tell them about his decision, no one agreed with him. They wanted him to stay in order to take care of his family business with his little brother, but he insisted on going to Vietnam. John wanted to be a hero like his grandfather, who was a general in the American Army in World War II. John was named after his grandfather. They had a very unique relationship. John used to go to his grandfather's house in order to listen to all the impressive stories of the war. John was paying attention to everything that his grandfather was telling him, and he ended up knowing every detail of the war and the Army's forms. John was inspired by his grandfather's story, so he didn't care about he'd been told by the arrest of his family, and he applied for the Army anyway. But when he got to Vietnam, he found out that the reality wasn't like what he'd been told by his grandfather. In contrast to World War II, American soldiers in Vietnam served individualized tours of duty rather than remaining attached to their units throughout the war. This sometimes produced difficulties in adjusting to life back at home. A minority of soldiers in Vietnam also became drug addicts who continued their self-medication because of the difficulties of transitioning to a peacetime existence, the availability of drugs in the United States. The war was very ugly and horrified. Everyone John knew in the war was killed and he was the only survivor. But in the psychological aspect, he was very damaged. John wasn't the only American soldier who couldn't recover from his suffering in the long war in Vietnam. Although most veterans were not permanently damaged by the war, some 15 to 25 percent of Vietnam veterans, between 500,000 and 700,000, suffered from a stress-related impairment known as post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD, a psychological disease brought on by acute combat experience. When John got back to America, he was very sad and damaged. He didn't want to return to his family while he was still like that, especially that he'd been told his grandfather died while he was in the war. John stayed in another state to recover before he returned home again. He was failing so bad, so he started to use drugs and drink a lot. He was partying every night in a different place. He spent all the money that he got on drugs and alcohol. One night, John was so drunk, he was coming out from a nightclub and he was crossing the street without paying attention to the cars. John got hit by a car and he was transferred to the nearest hospital. When he woke up in the hospital, John didn't remember anything. He didn't know why he was in the hospital or how he got there or even who he was. John was very confused sleeping in his bed when a beautiful doctor showed up. She asked John if he remembered how he got there, but John told her he couldn't remember anything, even his name. The doctor told him that she had something that could help him remember. Then she handed him a plastic bag. 
John opened the bag and only found a picture of himself wearing the military uniform. And in the back of the picture, he found his name, the date. And in the back of the picture, he found his name, the date of the picture, and the place. By that picture, John was able to know his name and what he was doing. He was a soldier in Vietnam. But he couldn't know anything else about his life. When the doctor got back to his room, John told her that the picture helped him, but not a lot. There were still a lot of things that he didn't know about his past. The doctor told him that if he was a soldier in Vietnam, he could know everything about his past from the military records. But she didn't recommend him to do so. John was surprised and asked her why. The doctor said, my brother was a soldier in Vietnam also. He was suffering PTSD. He tried everything to forget what he saw there. At the end, he started using alcohol and drugs to move on, just like what you did. But those things weren't enough for him, so he changed to heavy drugs until he died by overdose. John said, I'm really sorry. The doctor said, thank you. It's your life and your decision after all, but believe me, forgetting what happened there is a gift. You can have a fresh start now. You don't need those ugly memories from the war. John was convinced by what the doctor told him. He decided that he'd start from that time, like he was born in that hospital at that date. When John recovered and he was about to leave the hospital, the same doctor gave him a visit again. John told her that he decided to take her advice and start over. But the problem was that he didn't know how to start. The doctor told him that she could help him with that. She told him that she knew a friend who owned a store and was looking for someone to help her there, especially that she has another job. John was very thankful for all the help of the doctor. He remembered that after all those days in the hospital, he didn't know her name yet. She told him that her name was Wendy. From that day, John was in love with Wendy, but he didn't tell her. Wendy was very nice with John, even after he left the hospital, and he was loving her more day after day, so he decided to tell her that. John not only told Wendy that he loved her, he also told her that he didn't want to waste any time and wanted to marry her. Wendy was surprised by John's request, but she was also happy. She approved to live the rest of her life with him. Since that day, John and Wendy were always together. They were having the greatest time of their life together, and what made their life even better was that they had a very lovely daughter named Helen. Helen was everything in her parents' life. They were willing to do anything in order to make her happy. They gave her a good education, but she didn't want to go to college, as their parents wanted. Helen wanted to marry a rich guy that she got to know when she was in high school. Wendy and John tried to tell that she was still so young for taking this step, but she never listened to them. She always was saying that she didn't want to go to college because she'll never need money. Her husband will take care of everything. The parents didn't have any other option but approving on their daughter's demands. After all, they wanted to see her happy. Helen realized so soon that her parents were right. Her husband was treating her as if she was something that he bought with his money. She wasn't happy at all. They were always fighting, and he used to kick her, but she never told anyone about that. Even when Helen got pregnant, her husband didn't stop fighting with her or kicking her around. But one day, he went too far. After that last fight, Helen had to be transferred to the hospital, where she died from her injuries. The doctors could save the baby, but they couldn't save the mother. Helen delivered a very beautiful girl before she left that world forever. Wendy and John were very sad. Wendy couldn't take the pain she was suffering, a hard depression, and John couldn't help her out. The depression could get Wendy at the end, and she died only a few months after her daughter. John was left all alone with the little girl. He didn't know what to do since he woke up in that hospital years ago. Wendy was a part of his life, and now she was gone. He decided that he'll move on with his granddaughter, who named her after his wife, Wendy. The little Wendy was the reason that her grandfather could pass his days. She was cute, lovely, and above all, she loved to listen to her grandfather's stories. He was telling her about everything in his life. He told how he met her grandmother for the first time at the hospital, his first job in that small store, and he was telling her also about her mother and how she ended up dead in the hospital at a very young age. Wendy was growing up so fast, or that's what John thought. Before he knew, she turned to a very beautiful young lady. She was looking just like her grandmother. She also went to college and became a doctor like her. 
Wendy was inspired by the stories that John told her, and she wanted to be a hero like her grandmother. One day, Wendy told her grandfather that she was in a relationship with some guy, and he told her that he loved her and he wanted to marry her. Wendy told him also that it was very important to her to get his approval on that marriage. John asked Wendy if there's any way that he could know that guy. Wendy said, maybe. He isn't from here. He's from another state, but you might know his family. They're very famous. When John heard the family's name, he was shocked. He knew this guy came from a really wealthy family. So he remembered what happened with his daughter years ago and said, no, you do not have my approval. Do you forget what happened to your mother? Wendy said, no, I didn't, but it's a totally different situation. I knew that that could behave like that, so I set up a trip for you to visit their house, and then you can decide. John liked the idea. He went to visit the family in their big fancy house. John was looking all over the place like he wanted to buy it, but soon he got shocked. He saw himself in a photo in a black frame. He looked at Wendy's fiancé and asked, Who is this? The young man said, I never knew him, but I was told that he was the uncle of my father. He died in Vietnam. We never knew how he died. He just disappeared. John started crying, and he pulled out the only picture that he had from his past, and he gave it to the young man. Wendy could understand that after all those years, she led her grandfather to his home. She told her fiancé the long story of her grandfather and how he ended up like that. John's living in a big house of his family again, now along with Wendy and her husband. He's waiting for a great-grandson, after Wendy told him she's pregnant. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.